To use your images effectively, sometimes you want to crop an image, either just to change its shape or to draw attention to a more important part of the image. This image seems to look fine here, but I'd really like to draw a little more attention to the plane in the image. So we'll assume you've logged into your control panel, and I'm on our About Fire Smart Day page in Standard Pages. You can see the original image in the content area. First, to make changes to the image, you'll need to use an image editing program. Photoshop is probably the most familiar. However, not everyone has Photoshop nor wants to pay for it. Windows and Mac machines usually have their own editors you might want to check out. But I found an online one I like. It's called Pixlr. It's free, and you don't have to download a program to your computer. You upload your image to their site, make your changes, and then save it back to your computer. I've already opened it up on an adjacent tab where I typed in pixlr.com. When it opens, your version might look a little different than this. However, the main thing you're going to want to look for is a link to Pixlr Express. Pixlr Express offers a robust set of tools that should allow you to make most of the changes that you need to your image. Now, once it opens, you'll want to locate the Browse button. We're looking for the original image, so we'll click here. And I've got the image I want to work with available in my Pictures folder. You can select it, go down here and click on Open, or you can just double-click the image, and there it is. As I mentioned, I want to crop this image a bit to focus more on the airplane. There are a lot of options down here, and for our purposes, we're going to select Adjustment. You can see there are about 20 tools to edit your images here. In this case, again, we're going to focus on Crop, which is right here. This, you'll notice, has framed the picture and gives us handles to grab to set the boundaries for our crop. I'm going to grab this one and drag it horizontally until the image looks just the way I want. I think I'll also raise it up here a little bit. By the way, once you've done that, you can click and drag this window around the frame to uh, take a different look at how you might focus on things as well. But once you have it in the right position, you come on down here and click on the Apply button. And there you go. You can see the plane is more centered in the image. If it didn't turn out quite like you expected, you can click on Undo and do it again. Or if you like the results, come over here and click on Save. You can name the new image here, and it's smart to keep the original larger image for future use should you need it. So I'm going to name this one Fireplane Cropped. Once you've done that, you can go over here and click on Save, and you should be directed back to the folder on your computer. Make sure the file name is correct, and then you can come over here and click on Save as well. Now that you have the cropped image available, of course, we need to place it on our page, so we'll open it in the control panel. To delete the original image, you can simply click on it and tap the delete key to delete it. Now we'll go up here and click on the insert edit image link. Once it opens, we'll go over here and click on browse. The image we cropped isn't in my website files yet, so I'll have to locate it on my computer and upload it. So come up here and click on Upload. And since the image is on my computer and not on Dropbox, we'll select Local Machine and navigate to where the image is located. I'll go ahead and select the image and click on Open. And this will begin the upload process, which you can see only took a moment. Once it's done, of course, you want to make sure the image is selected and then we'll click on Insert. Now let's set some padding up here on the Advanced tab. We'll set the vertical and horizontal space at 10 pixels, and let's also add a border of 1 pixel, and click on OK. You can see the cropped image has replaced the original, but we still have to align it. It's selected, so we'll go on up here to the toolbar and align it right. We can scroll down here now and click on Update Page if you like the way things look. And to see the results, I have the web page open on an adjacent tab. And after refreshing it, you can see the new image in place. You can also see the plane is a bit more centered. So in a nutshell, to crop an image, open it in an image editor like Pixlr, crop it to the desired size and focus, save your changes, upload the cropped image to your website files, and replace the original.